Oops. Hello, today I'm going to uh, give a quick introduction to the uh, operation of the Bittner 225L. Uh, in case you're uh, not familiar with it, it's a uh, unique way of, for the home winemaker, beer maker, cider maker to do their uh, product at home. And uh, inside this unit is two stainless steel fermentation tanks. pop out like that. Uh, these tanks are designed to make any wine or beer cider kit on the market. Uh, they're 25 liters. This is your 20 liter mark at the shoulder. That's where you fill up your wine. Here you'd start off a little lower than that because beer tends to foam up a lot so you want to give that space to do that. Uh, then after a few days after the foaming goes down a little bit you would top up to your 23 liter level, which is the base of the neck here. Flatten down your lid. Uh, but first, before I tell you that, the lid is, uh, it's got a hole in it for the bunk. Uh, it's got a very good uh, silicone seal there for it. And inside each one of these tanks is a pre-filter screen made of stainless steel and it will prevent any things like oak chips or elderberries or elderflowers or whatever you're adding to your, your kit to prevent it from going through the pump system. Okay, so we're just going to put that back on here. Let me just clamp down like so. back in. And you just kind of feed the hose down through the bottom hole there, plate. Really. That goes underneath. Like so. And these bungs are uh, for the lid and that's a uh, waterless airlock bung. And that'll just fit in the hole there when you're ready to lock it down and keep it away from oxygen. For the first couple of days you, you want oxygen to, have to get the yeast going. Okay, so this unit basically, it uh, just transfers uh, from the primary to the secondary. It uh, filters, it bottles your wine. So uh, there's a constant switch here on this side. First I'll show you how to hook that. Say if you're going to do a, a four week kit, so three weeks goes by, and now it's time to stabilize and clear it. You would Take the intake hose of the pump, the pump just sits underneath here, and you would hook it up to your hose that came out of the bottom of your tank, the primary. And then you take your outtake hose and hook it up to your secondary, and then you would hit the switch. It takes about eight minutes to transfer it across, and when it's transferring across, it gives you time to add your stabilizers, your sulfite, your sorbate if you're using it, and uh, then your clearing agents. Uh, and once that's done, you just turn it off, unhook it. Now every time you use the pump and the lines, you need to uh, clean the pump and the lines. And this is this really quick. So in the back of the unit is a little reservoir that you would put your cleaning solution in. But first you would hook up your intake to your clean port and your outtake to the fill port. Like that, quite simple, one on each side. Put your water and a little bit of sulfite in the back here, and then uh, grab your container to catch it because it's going to come out of your fill port here or your spout. And this is your intermittent switch. And it takes about five seconds to run that through, and you're clean. And then once that's done, you just take it away, like so, and you're done. Now, a week will go by now, and, and this, this secondary will be nice and clear, and you're ready to bottle your wine. Now, if, if you don't want to filter it, you can just go straight ahead and bottle your wine. Just hook it up with your line. So the intake, intake always goes to the full tank, so this will go then to your 
secondary, and then the outtake, well, you're filling wine, so go to the fill, and then you would fill. Now, if you were um, filtering your wine, there is a filter cartridge here that you build your own filters for. So inside this unit is another stainless steel, same ones that's in the bottom of each tank, a little pre-filter screen. And you can see that, it's a little pre-filter screen. Now what we're going to do is we're going to just take that off, I'll quickly show you how to do a filter. And you take your, I've got three filters here, that was good for red wine, uh, five filters is good for white wine. You just place it in the center like that, wrap it around, bring it all to the top like that, twist it a little bit. Grab an elastic band, they're food grade rubber, so they work good. And you tie that on there really tight, like so. So that's your filter. Works really good. Very simple, very cheap. And then you stick it back into your end there, like so. Throw your cartridge back together. Now on each end of these is another quick connect. That's a male, that's a female. There's only one way of hooking this up. So you would uh, Take the hose off the back end of your spout and you would hook it up to your filter and then take this end, nail, and that goes back in to the spout end and you're ready to filter your wine. Bottle it and filter it at the same time. So that's it. We'll be all ready to go. This will go hook up to the fill and you're done. There again, disconnect everything. And then you can leave that one there for now. And then just fill your unit up at the back here again. Do a quick rinse. And you're done. That's how simple that unit is to make wine. Now that was kind of describing wine. With beer, it's, uh, you start off, like I say, at about the 15 liter mark because it foams up quite a bit. And uh, you allow about three days to go by before you top it up. And with beer, you don't filter it, you just transfer it over, add the priming sugar, and go straight to bottle. Same with cider. Very easy, very quick. And then just a rinse and a clean, and away you go. And that is basically the Vintner 225L. What makes this better than the old system, there's no lifting. But the biggest thing is it makes a better product. Especially for beer and white wine. Uh, red wine tends to hide a lot of faults because it's dark, plus it's got a lot of tannins in it, so it can hide little, little faults like oxidation and stuff. Now, you're only moving it from the primary to the secondary, and then to the bottom. So once, and then into the bottom twice. That's all you're moving it. It's completely hidden from light and oxygen, uh, keeping that, the product nice and safe. The old system, you're moving it at about four times, from the buckets, to the carboy, to another carboy to stabilize, to another carboy to, to filter, and then to bottle. But it's about four times. So it, and each time you move your wine, or beer, beer doesn't like any movement at all, uh, you break it down uh, a little bit at each time. So this is a noticeably difference quality in the product. Uh, and that's about it. Very nice, very clean unit. And it uh, comes with a lifetime warranty on all the main parts that you use, as long as they're not abused. Stainless steel units, they're going to last forever. And all the fittings are stainless steel or silicone food grade. Pumps rated for about 6,000 hours of use, use so uh, I think that, that's going to do quite a bit of wine and beer. So, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed that.